Hey guys, I'm Al, and I'll be showing you how to install and use an Xbox 360 controller on a Mac using OS X. Now it's actually really simple, you only need two things, you want a wired controller, because it's the easiest to use, you can use a wireless one, but then you also have to buy a wireless transceiver, and that's a bit of extra hassle along with the batteries. Now once you have the controller, you only need the drivers, and you can get them right here, at tattyboggle.net, I'll put a link in the description. Now there's a few of them right here, but you don't want to use 0.12, it actually is the worst of them all. It's got a lot of problems and it doesn't work for a lot of people. So the one you want is 0.11 or 0.11. Now it's got the least amount of problems and you can actually select the type of controller you have inside it. So let's go ahead and download that there. It's awfully small and as you can see it's done right away. So let's install it there. It's got a nice installer package for you. You just double click mm-hmm continue continue and then you just have to say you agree let me put in your password and there it goes Now you want to make sure the controller isn't plugged in while you're doing this. You want to plug it in after it's already been installed. Otherwise, you could run into some problems and then you have to uninstall everything and try again. Alright, so there it's installed. Close that. And then you go to System Preferences and there you'll see it. Xbox 360 controllers. Now as you open it up, it'll say there's no devices because I haven't plugged it in. So let's plug it in and see how it actually works. Alright, so here's my controller and let's quickly plug it in there to the USB port at the front. Pop it in. And there it goes. Now it doesn't have a little light on, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But as, as you can see on the computer, you can actually see it has controller 1 wired, selected right there. So, if we play around with the buttons here, You'll actually see on the computer the trigger buttons work, analog sticks, start, middle button, they all work. And if you actually use the trigger buttons, you'll actually feel a rumble or vibration at the same time just to show that they're working. So it couldn't be simpler. Now let's actually give it a shot and play a game and see what happens. So let's open up Castle Crashers because the game really does need a controller to work. It even recommends it right there. So let's skip all of these, pressing the start button. There we go, loaded straight in. As you can see, it's all working straight away, right there. Let's go to a local game. And we'll load one of my other characters. Alright. There you go, you can see the controller is working no problems whatsoever. So there you go, that's how you install a 360 wired controller on a Mac in Mac OS X. I'm Al, and thanks for watching.